Uh, hi everyone, uh, Pastor Abby here, uh, the campus pastor at Mosaic as part of First Methodist Sherman, and I'm the children's pastor. I'm so glad that you're uh, here with us today. Um, you saw Pastor Denise do a devotional last week. Well, I'm leading the one today along here with my husband, Matthew Eccles. Um, I'm going to read some scripture for you, and then we're going to sing a song in a little bit. So uh, I'm glad you're all here uh, doing this with us today. So in our scripture, this is Paul's letter to the Philippians. And what's interesting about this letter is that Paul is writing this from prison. And even though he's in prison in this dark, nasty, stinky, like dank place, he is writing this letter of joy to the people of Philippi because uh, he is uh, telling them how thankful he is of them and their ministry and that the gospel of Jesus Christ is continuing on and being shared in their place and space. And so he, he from this really dark, scary place of unknown is writing to them uh, to ensure faith, to, um, to thank them and uh, tell them that they're doing a great job. And so what this means for us today or how this can speak to us today is that we find ourselves in the midst of the fear of unknown regarding the COVID-19 virus that is going around and all the social distancing. And um, we aren't able to hug people, right? We aren't able to see people on a regular basis. I know I miss how busy the church is. And so uh, here we find ourselves in this very weird place. And I think that these words from Paul are very poignant for us today. So this is Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Four through seven. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And now we're going to sing a song called Peace, which is by Hillsong Young and Free. Or Amanda Cook also has a really great version on YouTube, which you can look up. Um, this song uh, goes really well with the scripture, and I've listened to it time and time again whenever I find myself in a high, highly anxious situation such as these times we find ourselves in. So um, I hope that you will listen and meditate uh, and join us in this prayer of song.
presence of Jesus, the keeper of peace. Because peace is a promise he keeps. All anxiety bows in the presence of Jesus, the keeper.